My friends, with your aid, we have weathered a brutal assault. Sorry I'm late, though I would not have been had anyone thought to notify me in advance. As I was saying, it was only with your aid that we weathered this assault. Without it, the Crystarium and all who dwell here would now be gone. For each we saved, another perished. If there is anything else we can do to help, anything at all, you need only ask. This is our home too, and we want nothing more than to keep it safe. Thank you. We are blessed to have you with us. As for the attack itself, Vorthri may call it divine retribution, but Sin Eaters are creatures of instinct. A coordinated assault is unprecedented. Moreover, in the absence of a Light Warden, there should have been no compulsion for lesser Sin Eaters to congregate here en masse, all of which points to a single, unavoidable conclusion. That these minions of Light answer to a higher power. He who did claim kinship with them, who did boast of control, not in idleness, twould seem, but in earnest. Lord Vorthry. Indeed. What I mistook for bluster was in fact the truth. The Sin Eaters are his to command. But if he imagines this show of force will convince us to bend the knee, he is sorely mistaken. I take it your meeting in Yulmor did not end well. You could say that, yes. But I am wiser for the experience, nevertheless. It appears he has mastered a technique which allows him to enslave the minds of others. A fact I discovered when he attempted to use it on me. Well, that would go some way towards explaining the peculiar reverence afforded him by his subjects. There may feasibly be a handful of true believers among them, I suppose, but it would not surprise me if the vast majority were in his thrall. Had I not anticipated his treachery, I might well have joined them. But seeing his invitation for what it was, I sent a glamour in my stead. I rather doubt such tricks will avail me a second time, however. Did you have any luck tracking down the Light Warden in Calusia? Sadly, I have nothing to report on that front. What of Armorang? After a fruitless few days scouring ruins, I resorted to asking the locals. While no one I spoke to had seen any sign of the Warden, I did uncover a possible lead. An abandoned mine in Western Armorang. From what the Maud told me, it would be a perfect place to stay out of sight. Of course, I could never hope to explore such a labyrinth quickly or safely on my own, so I returned here. Even should we all join in the endeavor, an exhaustive search could take weeks, and with no guarantee of finding anything. The Wardens harbor vast reservoirs of primordial light, do they not? Far beyond anything found in lesser Sin Eaters. And isn't it true that the Oracle could see the light of a Sin Eater from miles away? Surely a Warden would seem like a blazing beacon by comparison! To the real Oracle of Light, I mean. The real Menphilia. If we travel to Armoreg, to the south where she halted the flood, I could summon her back. What do you think? Don't. Don't what? Do what I can. What we both know is right. Do not presume to know my mind. You have no idea what you're proposing. But I do! I know why you never said anything. Because you thought you could keep me safe by keeping me in the dark. 
And maybe I thought so too. But I knew, Thancred. I always knew. Oh, I see. I thought you were a rather underwhelming reincarnation. But it all makes sense now. The Oracle lies dormant within you, doesn't she? But to draw on her true power, you must become one, both body and soul. To wit, one being must consume the other. Who shall be the lucky winner? This doesn't concern you, Asian. But it plainly concerns you. Which is why your heart is ready to burst out of your chest. Despite the raging tempest in your bosom, however, you have never once opened up to your young charge. Now why would that be? Love. Well, I, for one, think it's a marvelous idea. Certainly more promising than any of your other suggestions. So, it's off to Armorang we go. I'll meet you at the gates.
Take comfort in the bonds you share. Accept the pain when the time comes to part. Press on, for joy and sorrow walk hand in hand. Beyond Mount Garik lie the hills of amber, beneath which run hidden veins of mineral wealth. Or ran, at least. Mayhap they are spent. Or mayhap the ringing of hammers can yet be heard below.